So in this video, I'm going to show you how to convert between different units for energy. So I'm just going to get started right away. In the first one, I'm given 56.3 joules, and so I'm going to convert that into calories. So I'm going to start off with my given, and so my given in this case is 56.3 joules. Okay, and so in order to convert, I'm going to put joules on bottom. I'm going to put calories up top. Now I've just got to plug in this relationship. So in one calorie, there are 4.184 joules. And so what I'll do is I'll take 56.3 divided by 4.184. And what I end up getting, once I've rounded to the correct number of significant figures, which here it's 3, here it's 4, I end up getting 13.5 calories because you want three sig figs. Okay, For the next one, my given is 12.2, make sure to show your decimal, kilojoules. Well, I don't know the relationship between calories and kilojoules, but I do know the relationship between calories and joules. So I'm going to put kilojoules on bottom, I'm going to put joules up top, and therefore I know that there are a thousand joules, or ten to the third joules in every one kilojoule. And now I can get into calories, so I'm going to put joules on bottom, and now calories up top. So now I know that in one calorie, there are 4.184 joules. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take 12.2, multiply it by 1,000, and then divide by 4.184. And what I end up getting when I do that is 2,920 calories. And now the reason why I rounded it to three sig figs this has three sig figs. This relationship is exact, therefore it has an infinite number of sig figs, so we ignore it. And then 4.184 has four significant figures, so I want three sig figs. For the next one, I'm converting between big calories and joules. And so what I'm going to do is I say, all right, I have 3.2 calories, big calories, capital C A L. So first, in order to get into joules, I first need to get rid of big calories and get into little calories. So I'm going to put big calories on bottom, little calories up top, so there are 10 to the third little calories in one big calorie. And then I'm going to convert now into joules. So I'm going to put little calories on bottom so that they'll cancel, and I'm going to put joules up top. So here I've got 4.184 joules in every one calorie. And so what I end up getting there, since I want two sig figs from here, this is exact, so I ignore it, and this is four, so I want two sig figs, I get 13,000 joules once I do the math. For the very last one, I have 12.3 calories, and I'm going to convert that into joules. So this is actually just going to be one step. Little calories on bottom, joules on top, so 4.3. 184 joules in every one calorie. And since I want three significant figures, this is going to round to 51.5 joules. And I'm done.